Hi fellow dreamers, in this video we're going to talk about repetitive dream symbols. What do they mean and how can they help guide us? Now I'm also going to give you two specific ones that have been sent in this week. Dreaming of it raining and then also dreaming of being in the basement. All right, thanks for joining everybody. My name is Carolina. As you know, I focus on doing children's books like these right here to promote love, unity, and peace. And I also help my followers interpret their dreams. The reason we do this is because when we listen to our dreams, we're connecting with our subconscious. And when we share them, we connect with one another on a more profound level. So before we get into the specifics of the rain and then dreaming of being in the basement, I want to let you know how you can interpret any dream symbol that you have, especially those that are repetitive. So let's go ahead and get started real quick. I've got a video on this already. So I'm going to do just a really quick recap here. First and foremost, if a dream symbol keeps repeating itself to you in dream state, it is an alert. It's letting us know, hey, this is something you need to pay attention to. This is something you've been ignoring. So I'm going to keep showing it to you and showing it to you. So now that we've got our dream symbol, now that we remember what this is, we want to write it down. Okay. The reason we write it down is because that is letting ourselves know. I want to remember this, right? This is important to me. I'm writing it down. Now, after you do that, give it some weight. What do I mean by give it weight? This is very simple. All we want to do here is really explore the symbol and give it as much feeling and as much significance as we can. So the way that we do this is first and foremost, we describe it. What did this symbol look like? Let's say you dreamt of a flower. What kind of flower was it? What color was it? Then we want to move into the feelings. What was I feeling when I saw this flower? And then lastly, if you want to explore this, this part is great too. Reflect it to waking state. Have I seen this in waking state? If so, where did I see it? Who was I with, etc give it weight in that way. When we do this, we're encouraging ourselves to remember the symbol, but we're also encouraging ourselves to make that connection. What does the symbol mean to me? All right. Now, once you have all that information and you understand what this dream symbol means to you, you can use it to help guide you, right? You can use it and say, all right, if this is what this dream symbol is telling me, what am I going to do with this information? How am I going to use this to guide me in waking state? So that is a very quick recap, but let's go ahead and get into one of the main symbols that was sent in this week. And that is when you're dreaming of it raining. All right. We've got one dreamer that said he was feeling wonderful under the rain. He said that he was outside. It was raining. He just let the rain fall on him and he felt great. He felt amazing. So let's kind of help him through that. If you're having a dream of it raining on you and you feel great, you feel amazing. That is great. That is great. Okay. Bottom line. Why? Because you're feeling good during the dream. If you're having a dream and it is inspiring some good feelings, some loving feelings, we always want to applaud that and give more energy to that. Now, the fact that it was raining on you, <clears throat> excuse me, and you were allowing the rain to fall on you. That's wonderful. That is such a cleansing opportunity. That is a cleansing dream to have. So if you're having a dream that it's raining on you and you're feeling good, take it, take it just like that, right? It's an opportunity for you to cleanse. You're letting go of those old things. Okay. You're letting go of those old things that didn't serve you. All those old emotions are being gone. They're being left behind. And guess what? Whenever it rains, what happens after the rain flowers grow, trees grow, etc. It is such a magical time for you. So right now it's letting us know that you are growing. You are letting go of those old things and you're allowing yourself to be ready for those new things to come. So congratulations for such a lovely dream. Now, one of our dreamers said that when she was dreaming of the rain, she was actually not feeling good at all. She was feeling sad and she was feeling alone. So let's help her by exploring this dream symbol of rain, but with her feelings associated with it. Now, if you're having a dream of it raining on you and you're not feeling good, you're feeling sad, you're feeling kind of this heavy energy, okay, this is such a red flag for the need of release, okay? <sighs> okay, reflect it outward. I, I breathe like this because I've had dreams like this before in my past, so, so I can uh, understand where you're coming from. And also, other dreamers have explored similar dreams, so I know this one is a tough one. It's a heavy one, so I appreciate, I really do appreciate you sharing your dream with us and letting us know how you were really feeling during this. Now, if you're feeling sad and if you're feeling that heavy energy when it's raining on you, it is a need to release. Okay, let's reflect it outward. What is going on in waking state right now where you're feeling drained? You're feeling like there's so much on me right now and I just have got to let go. Are you allowing yourself to really let go of those old feelings? Are you allowing yourself to be forgiving of yourself, right? If you're not, 
uh, then then that is oftentimes when we dream of the rain in this way this is you know very common for a lot of us right so so think about it like that reflect it to waking state what is going on in waking state where i'm feeling the same kind of sadness where i'm feeling like i i just want to cry i just want to let go okay reflect it outward and then find the situation find what's going on in waking state because then you can do something about it right so let's go with the next dream symbol for today and that is dreaming of being in the basement a couple of you sent that one in so let's explore that a little bit let's remember too that whenever we're dreaming of being in a house a lot of the time that is symbolic for the dreamer themselves right so if we're in the basement and if we're in the most bottom part of the house that is like the subconscious you are deep in there okay if you are exploring this basement and you're feeling good about what you're finding if you're you know feeling uh just enjoying the process and that's good right it's letting you know that you're reconnecting with those really deep roots of yourself you're enjoying that exploration you're learning about yourself right and you're accepting it but now if you're exploring this basement and you're not feeling so good let's say that you're feeling fearful one of our dreamers said she was feeling very fearful as she was exploring this basement and she felt that it was her home so this is letting us know that when you're connecting with your subconscious when you're connecting with those deeper roots of yourself there is a lot of fear associated with it oftentimes when we make this connection with the subconscious and when we really accept what is going on at that deepest level sometimes what we find can be sadness sometimes what we find can be fear of things that haven't been healed in the past right so if this is what you're feeling when you're exploring this basement it is time to accept those things that happened in the past it is time to accept all of those things within the subconscious so that way we can heal remember any dream where you're you know exploring especially in the house especially in like this basement area it is you know that connection with your deeper self all right remember that the places of the house like let's say the attic that is like the most conscious place right and then of course the basement is the most subconscious so if you're exploring this area letting us know that at least you're making that effort you're making that effort to understand yourself better so congratulations for that but now if you're like one of our dreamers that was feeling fearful about what she is finding that is okay too right it is a moment of acceptance remember that uh, we can accept all of those things that happen to us we can accept the way that we are it doesn't mean that it has to be that way forever though you can change things at any moment at any instant that you want and remember that you're always in control of your life and of your dream world but i appreciate you all sending in your dreams and helping us understand what these repetitive dream symbols can mean for some of us as you know i do one-on-one -on -one consultations so if you want to explore your dream more profoundly or if you want to understand your dream language and you need a guide to help you through it i am happy to help you with that but anyways i send you a huge hug everybody i send you love unity and peace we will be in contact bye everyone bye.